Well, everybody knows that this is one of the best uh, little Wi-Fi cameras on the market. They're, uh, they're Wise Cam, and they sell for about 26 bucks. You can pick them up at uh, Home Depot, uh, or you can order them online through Amazon or go directly to wisecam.com. Uh, one of the shortcomings of this camera is they're not very good for close-up stuff, and I wanted something that I could focus on, uh, use this camera for my 3D printer, and focus on whatever I was printing, but they're, they've got a fixed focal length lens uh, that's good for, you know, in, in the house or outdoors, but not for close-up stuff. So I designed and built a, a focus ring that uh, this one here is printed on an FDM printer, and I uh, uh, printed one up on my SLA printer, which is a little bit uh, uh, better uh, suited for this. You could print it on either one, they both will work. So uh, here's what we do to, to modify the camera for the focus ring. Now this, uh, this black ring is a plastic ring that on the other side of it houses the um, uh, infrared lights. And then this, of course, is the lens. And then this black ring is a rubber ring that surrounds the lens. So what you want to do is get a little screwdriver and push underneath the, right, the, the rubber ring and just gently pry to get this plastic ring off. And it should come right off fairly easy. Then you want to go ahead and take this rubber ring off. And it comes off nice and easy. And inside we have the, um, the microphone and the four infrared uh, sensors. Now what you wanna do, and I should probably mention this, this is gonna void your warranty, of course, and uh, it is very easy to damage this camera, so take your time um, in doing it. So what you wanna do is you wanna grab the lens. The lens is glued in there in two places, um, on the very top and on the very bottom. They use, uh, they use a little bit of, of glue in there, but it's a soft kind of glue. So what you do is you grab a hold of the lens with a pair of pliers, very gently rotate that lens out. You're going to unscrew it. Uh, just a quarter of a turn should break the, uh, the glue off, and then you want to go ahead and pull the lens out. Now be very careful not to get anything in the hole that this lens comes out of because it is uh, directly to the sensor, uh, the image sensor. So you want to pull this... Uh, Pull this lens out very carefully. Um, there will be a little bit of glue. You want to make sure you get that glue off of the, the housing uh, with a pair of tweezers or whatever you have. But be very careful when you take that off. You don't want to mess up the, uh, the threads on the inside. So get that glue off. So now you can see that there's no glue on the inside. Then you want to check your lens and make sure that there's no glue on the lens. Um, and that's pretty much all there is to it. Now, once you've got that done, you go ahead and snap the black ring back in place. Or wait a minute, I'm sorry. Uh, you need to put the lens back in. You screw the lens back in uh, very gently, very carefully. The threads are, are super fine threads. So you wanna screw that in very carefully. And then you wanna go ahead and put the black cover back on. And it should just pop right into place. And then from here, what you wanna do is take your uh, lens, your focus ring, and push it on all the way so it looks like that. And now you'll be able to focus your camera uh, up close for your 3D print. Okay, one thing you might want to do if you print this on a, a filament printer, it may be a little bit tight uh, to put in the lens. So with the lens out, just go ahead and apply a little bit of heat with a lighter or something like that. And uh, with the lens out, and, and don't touch the back of the lens. If you do, just clean it up. You can uh, uh, push it in with the lens off and until it seats, and then go ahead and uh, put the lens back in the uh, in the camera, and you're good to go. Okay, so I've mounted my camera onto my uh, Ender 3 3D printer, and as you can tell in the image here, uh, the printer over here is in focus, but the little rubber ducky is not in focus, and that's what I want to focus on when I'm doing the printing. So. 
you just take the little focus wheel and while you're uh, turning it, you just keep watching the focus until it comes into focus. And there we go. That's about perfect. So that's it. And now uh, when you're printing stuff on a 3D printer, you've got a good in-focus um, object and you can use your time lapse or however, whatever you want to do, or if you're just monitoring the print, you've got a good uh, clean image to, uh, to monitor. And that's about it. Uh, I have linked the, uh, the files for the focus ring uh, in the description. Uh, you can go on uh, Thingiverse and find them on there and print them out yourself. It's really easy. Uh, the prints take about an hour to print out, and it's all you need. Good luck.